Chapter 2, Part B, Vaccine Administration, with Dr. Brett Peterson. The site of vaccination is the upper arm over the deltoid muscle. No other sites on the body have been well studied or approved by the FDA. Do not perform skin preparation unless the skin at the intended site of vaccination is obviously dirty. If skin preparation is needed, use an alcohol swab to clean the area and allow the skin to dry completely. If the skin is not completely dry, inactivation of the live vaccine virus by the alcohol could occur. ACAM 2000 smallpox vaccine is administered by the percutaneous route through multiple punctures to the skin using a bifurcated needle. ACAM 2000 should not be administered by the intramuscular, intradermal, subcutaneous, or intravenous route. Only the multiple puncture vaccination technique will confer the necessary immunity. Prior to vaccination, carefully inspect the individually packaged bifurcated needle to ensure that the package and seal are intact. Do not use the bifurcated needle if the package appears compromised, damaged, or tampered with, and dispose of it in a biohazard sharps container. In a smallpox emergency, supplies of bifurcated needles may be limited. Therefore, during an emergency, the FDA authorizes the distribution and use of bifurcated needles currently stored in the Strategic National Stockpile that are either past their labeled expiration date or that do not have an expiration date. Do not be alarmed by any expired dates on the packaging. All bifurcated needles provided, whether within their labeled expiration date, past their labeled expiration date, or without an expiration date, are all usable products. Don new gloves before each patient contact and remove the stopper from the reconstituted vaccine vial. Remove the bifurcated needle from its packaging. Be careful not to touch the bifurcated pointed end. Submerge the bifurcated end of the needle in the reconstituted vaccine solution. The needle will pick up a droplet of vaccine within the fork of the bifurcation. Do not insert the upper part of the needle that has been in contact with fingers into the vaccine vial, and never re-dip the needle into the vaccine vial if the needle has touched skin. We will now describe how to administer ACAM 2000 by the multiple puncture vaccination technique using a bifurcated needle. Deposit the droplet of vaccine onto the clean, dry skin of the upper arm over the insertion of the deltoid muscle. Hold the needle between your thumb and first finger perpendicular to the skin. Rest the wrist of the hand holding the needle against the individual's arm. Rapidly make 15 jabs of the needle perpendicular to the skin to puncture the skin, within a diameter of about 5 millimeters. The jab should be vigorous enough so that a drop of blood appears at the vaccination site. Discard the needle in a biohazard sharps container. Remember, bifurcated needles are for single patient use only. Wipe off any excess droplets of vaccine and blood off the skin using a dry gauze pad and discard the pad in a biohazard container. Close the vaccine vial by reinserting the rubber stopper. Remember, after reconstitution, the vaccine must be administered within eight hours if kept at room temperature. Following vaccination, cover the vaccination site loosely with a gauze bandage or other porous absorbent materials that can absorb exudates, and use medical adhesive or paper tape to keep it in place if needed. This bandage provides a barrier to protect against spread of the vaccine virus. Do not put salves, ointments, or creams on the vaccination site. Immediately wash your hands with soap and water or use an alcohol-based hand rub if you have had direct contact with the open vaccination site or contaminated materials used during vaccination administration to prevent spread of vaccine virus. After vaccination, vigilant hand washing and proper vaccination site care will be important to prevent the spread of vaccine virus. Recently vaccinated healthcare workers or individuals who provide direct patient care must take additional vaccination site precautions while at work. The vaccination site should be covered with an absorbent material such as gauze, along with an additional semi-permeable dressing to provide an additional barrier. Long sleeve clothing to cover the entire vaccination site is also encouraged. Here is the multiple puncture technique again.
Instructions such as the AKM2000 package insert and medication guide are included with each vaccine shipment. They also outline the multiple puncture vaccination technique used to administer AKM2000 and contain other important information about smallpox vaccine. You can also find more information at www.cdc.gov smallpox. Mm-hmm.